trying to fix that camera a bit. The, we're just out past Fernie, BC. It's heading towards uh, Cranbrook. Cranbrook, BC. Yeah. Sure is nice out this way.
want to get back into my truck camper too. I got to get another truck, I guess. Uh, the only reason why I sold my truck, because I, I wanted to sell my truck for a long time. I was looking for a four-door, full-size four-door and maybe an eight-foot box truck. But probably the same kind of vehicle, like GMC, uh, six, six liter engine. They're good engines and they're uh, a 2500, that's what I had before, but it was only an extended cab. So I need a, I need a full size four door. It'd be great for me and, and my kids actually, if I, and my wife, if we could go all in the, in the vehicle together. So yeah, so that's what I'm looking for, hopefully next time. I could have had one last night, but uh, a four-door truck, but the truck didn't seem right. Uh, he was asking a low, uh, low, uh, low price for it, like 5,500 bucks, the best offer. But uh, it's a 2009, but it was a uh, four-door. But uh, he said he. I had a light ratio last month or whatever, or last week or something. It just didn't feel right, so I just, uh, and he wanted me to go look at it in the nighttime, so I said no. So uh, I'll pass on the truck, so. And it was only 268,000 kilometers on it, so it was pretty uh, decent for that truck, but the truck looked in nice shape, but I don't know what the story is, and what the story is about, right? About the truck, so I don't know about the history or anything like that, the Carfax or anything. So I just left it, so I didn't. I didn't bother. So there's lots of more trucks out there. Just gotta go and uh, find them. I lucked out with the truck I had. I've been all over the Western Canada with that truck and uh, I never had no breakdowns or nothing. I did all the, uh, the camera keeps moving. Yeah, anyway, I, I did all the, uh, the, the parts on it that need to be fixed. So, uh, yeah, it's just, Damn good truck, uh, but too bad it wasn't a full full size four door. I would have just kept it. So, looking for a full size four door truck. I lucked out with that other truck I had. Uh, I only paid. Uh, Seventy-two hundred bucks on it, and uh, but then the water pump went, so I replaced the water pump and put four brand new tires on it, uh, brakes and rotors in the front, and uh, the drums and uh, calibers in the back, and rear shocks and new battery and. And the list goes on, and uh, new mirrors, tow mirrors, everything. That truck did me well. I drove it for over a year and a half. And uh, yeah, it, uh, that was a great truck. It still is a great truck. If the guy will look after it, it will it'll last him. So. But I need a bigger truck. Uh, size four door that's why I'm leaning to get into pretty beautiful scenery eh yeah, that camera keeps on moving back and forth, back and forth, yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Look. Look at the sheep. Rocky Mountain sheep. There they are. Got them on the video. There's some wildlife. Sorry guys, I have to point my camera that way. Uh, it won't stay still on me. I don't know what to do. I, I got a friggin' duct tape down here in the mat. Put some tape around it. That's probably a better idea to do. Grab some tape and tape right around that freaking thing. It's probably the only way it will stay. Uh, and we're headed up to Cranbrook here, and that's where we're going to stay for the next uh, seven days. Just traveling back and forth.
probably gonna let you guys go for now and uh, this video is getting like uh, 23 minutes now, maybe almost 24 minutes. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm not really seeing much, I'm just driving, so.